Well, last week an Australian ISP was served with notices alleging that its customers had breached copyright by using its network to share movies. And here to talk about uh, copyright theft is Justin Milne from Telstra Media. Justin, has Telstra received any notices alleging copyright theft on the part of its customers as part of this recent crackdown? No, we haven't had any um, notices in relation to this particular so-called uh, crackdown. We, of course, receive quite a lot of notices uh, from, the, from the police in relation to a wide variety of things, not just in relation to our online business, but also in relation to our uh, telephony business. And we always act in accordance with the law, and we always provide um, any notices that we're given to the police. So it's the police's job to... Uh, to prosecute criminals, to understand whether a law has been broken or not and to take uh, steps. And where we're required to cooperate by law, uh, we absolutely do. So why shouldn't ISPs be responsible when their customers use their networks for illegal purposes? I think networks shouldn't be responsible for the use of their networks when it comes to illegal things, for exactly the same reasons that we don't Austra hold Australia Post responsible for delivering uh, a defamatory letter. Um, the, the person who defames somebody that's the person who's, who's held responsible, not Australia Post. So the person who should be held responsible for illegally downloading a movie uh, or a music track is the person who illegally downloads it, um, not the owner of the network. Uh, it's really an untenable uh, kind of approach. We, of course, don't support that kind of activity. We've invested um, tens of millions of dollars in Australia over the last I don't know, three or four years in our movie download platform. So we're the first the first group in Australia, the very first group in Australia, to make that investment to allow people to legally download uh, high quality movies, movies over the internet, which, which they're doing in, 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 in really quite significant numbers. So we don't condone piracy. We've invested in the wherewithal to allow people to download uh, movies uh, legally. So what would you do if a court found that one of your customers had acted improperly by uh, breaching copyright using your networks? Well, if a court found one of our customers guilty of piracy, then the court has um, uh, many remedies to deal with it. Now, we don't condone piracy for one millisecond. In fact, quite the, quite the opposite. To the extent that people are pirating music, they're not downloading it legally and paying us for it. So we'd much prefer them to buy it from us, of, of course. But our view is, is that there is already quite a number of uh, remedies under the existing law to deal with piracy. But if the government wants to change the law, then they should, they can, that's the government's business. What we think is though, that if the government changes the law, it should do that in the full glare of democracy. It should propose laws, it should draft laws, there should be conversations about the laws, the media should write about the laws, um, uh, people with um, uh, you know, much higher IQs than mine should write about them and decide if they're good or bad, and they should get the full glare of the public uh, um, uh, opinion on them. And then if they're good laws, they'll be passed. If they're bad laws, the government will have to face the people at the next election having passed a bunch of crook laws. That's the way democracy works. The alternative that's being proposed here is to effectively bypass democracy and just get a kind of a sweetheart deal done with ISPs. The problem is that ISPs are always the, the first guy that everybody goes to in an instance like this. They come to us to filter the internet, um, to catch the bad guys that... Um, purvey uh, pornography, uh, to catch the copyright um, thieves. And we don't condone any of that stuff, but we say that's the job of governments to create laws and to provide all of the people uh, that are involved in these things with a framework in which to operate, and we support that.